up everybody, Lionheart here and welcome to another tutorial of my in-depth series. This episode will focus on the Thresher. We'll start by taking a quick look at some stats and his special ability. I'll then show you the basics of using the Thresher and the best way to effectively score your diver kills by choosing appropriate evolutions. We'll then discuss what maps are best suited for the Thresher and as always, I'll include a random map at the end so you can see everything that I've covered in action. Let's begin by taking a look at some basic information. The Thresher is a speed shark with very high levels of speed and agility. The trade-off here is that it has low durability and thrash damage. This shark's special ability is Tail Lash. When activated, the Thresher damages all nearby prey by snapping its tail like a whip to create a pressure expansion. We'll cover this later in the tutorial, but for now, let's look at some more stats and see how it compares to other sharks. The Thresher has 150 health. It has decent stamina with 150 points. If you were to deplete your stamina, it would take 4.5 seconds to fully regen. Eating one seal will grant you 45 health. It has a max base thrash damage of 10, which is the lowest value that it can be. Thrashing a diver from full health will take 2.5 seconds. With latency and human error involved, we can increase this time slightly to around 2.8 seconds. Hitting Steve will do 5 points of damage. The time between lunging and darting is a flat 1 second. A lunge costs 45 points of stamina, with a dart costing 22.5 points. These percentages are 30 and 15% respectively. The Thresher can sprint for 11.1 .1 seconds before running out of stamina. And finally, it would take 10 steps to kill you from full health. Before we discuss what evolutions are best suited for the Thresher's playstyle, let's jump into some testing so we can see how the shark was designed. The first thing we'll be looking at is the Thresher's movement. While the Thresher has a decent amount of stamina and sprinting should be able to get you where you want to go, our lunge costs so little it is spammable and will get you there much quicker. Let's go ahead and take a look at our thrashing. It's taking a long time to thrash this diver, but you'll quickly notice that the health of any nearby divers have dropped as well. This is the Thresher's passive ability. Its thrash damage carries over to any other diver within a small vicinity. This damage is one for one, making it possible to kill more than one diver simultaneously. Two important pieces of information to take note of here. You cannot sprint while holding a diver. This is the only shark incapable of performing this action. To compensate, the Thresher will flail wildly while thrashing to make his hitbox much harder to hit. Now we'll take a look at Tail Lash, our special ability. When activated, the Thresher damages all nearby prey by snapping its tail like a whip to create a pressure expansion. This ability, combined with our passive, is very powerful and makes the Thresher very capable of performing large amounts of AoE damage, setting him apart from all the other sharks. This ability will deal increased damage at each tier and will also break walls, destroy enemy equipment such as a PAT or sonar buoy, and even disrupt Steve once fully leveled. It has the added benefit of turning off the diver's flashlights for a few seconds, which can be helpful from time to time. Let's try taking out some divers again this time using Tail Lash. You can easily see the kill happened much quicker. Once again, this damage carries over one to one to any nearby divers and when combined with the AoE thrashing, you will make quick work of any divers sticking together. This ability can be used together with Sprint to perform a swim by without having to endanger yourself by staying in the room for more than a quick second. Now that we understand how the Thresher works, we can look at the evolutions. As usual, I'm going to break down my recommendations into three tiers. Early game, mid game, and late game. Early game evolutions are generally your highest priority as they will have the greatest effect on your ability to get the kills you need easier, faster, and more successfully. I recommend Hangry and leveling your special ability. Hangry will regenerate your stamina rapidly for 8 seconds, enabling you to spam your lunge ability, which will get you back to Steve much faster each time you respawn. If you return fast enough, this excess stamina regen can be utilized during your attacks. Tail Lash levels 2 and 3 will increase its damage, as well as adding the ability to break walls, destroy equipment, and disrupt Steve. This greatly improves your utility and should be leveled as fast as possible. Our mid-game evolutions are Razor Fins and Electro Reception. Razor fins will deal damage to any diver you pass by while lunging. This is not only good to have in case you miss your diver, but will add to your swim by tail lashes and increase damage to any groups of divers you head into. It has the added benefit of helping you break out of nets faster, although you shouldn't face these when playing as the Thresher. 
Electro reception will allow you to see each diver's health status as well as any equipment they are holding. This should prevent you from wasting your tail ash cooldown when grabbing a diver with low health and may help you when setting up kill chains. Our late game evolutions are designed to handle the stronger weapons and equipment divers will have purchased by then. This is Vitalized Frenzy. Vitalized Frenzy will reset the cooldown of your special ability after killing a diver. This will allow you to wreak great havoc in a short period of time when executed properly by jumping from diver to diver, spamming tail lash each time. These evolutions should greatly increase your potential when playing as the Thresher. Don't forget to mix in anything situational if the match calls for it, and feel free to experiment and see if anything else complements your playstyle. Now we can talk about the maps. The Thresher is small, so we don't have to worry too much about entrance sizes, while a smaller room is preferable as this will increase the potential to damage multiple divers and equipment, a Thresher can still be useful as a hit and run shark in larger rooms and open water, but your low health pool could provide difficulties. Your low health pool also means you want to keep your opponents guessing, making multiple entrances a must. I would also advise that you stay away from any long tunnels. Any shark can be used on any map to reach a certain degree of success, but you should be fine when playing on these maps. Galleon, Crude, Olmec, and Station. That's it for the tutorial part of the video. I hope that all of the information we covered was useful and will help you on your journey to mastering the basics of the Thresher. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more depth tutorials and other gameplay. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in game. Little good luck, have Finn, just to start things off. No 100s, no equipment, no DPV. Uh, like, literally, the last five games has just been me chasing down guys on the DPV. Still win, but it makes the game a little slower, a little bit more annoying. And obviously, I want something a bit more entertaining for you guys. Thresher's fast enough, I should be able to get here before any of you even make it inside. All the great whites here, too. Nice, nice. We should have two easy kills. Here's mine. And okay, he didn't grab one. Maybe you missed. It's fine. He's already inside though. Nice, nice. You got that guy. Let me get this one. We'll make it a clean wipe. And let's reset. Oh, he doesn't want seals. He wants to stay aggressive. Okay, all right. I'm here. Let's do this. Get the two in the corner here. Oh, I missed, but it's cool. I got the tail swipe, and yeah, I'm dead from that. I grabbed the guy uh, when I was trying to lunge out instead of when I was trying to lunge in. Sorry right, though. Definitely well ahead on that nice initial little push. Man, he's still in there. Look how aggressive he is. Alright, I'm fine with this. Alright, these guys are definitely going to want their gold down here. So let's open this up. Oh. Dude, you just saw me break the door? Come on. Alright, I'll take the free kills. Oh, number two coming? No, no. Oh, this guy. This guy here we go right through the window. Yeah, easy, easy. Uh, he shouldn't need me to finish off these last two divers. They still just have pistols and he's a great white. So I'm going to go ahead and grab seals. Managing my time properly. I'm not after the kills. I am I'm the thresh from the support. Just weaken them for him to get in. Let's open these windows up here. Or doors, rather. Man, he's already in. Come on, let me get in there. Yeah, yeah, come on. Double kill. I yes, yes. Oh, they were stacked up perfectly. That passive AOE thrashing plus the tail swipe. Oof. Dangerous. Grab our last level here and we'll pick up Electro Reception. That way I don't waste my tail lash on a, a weak diver. Oh, I missed. I missed. It's alright. Still damaged. I think two of them pretty heavily. Yeah, he's already in there feeding off my kills. Oh, come on. Get him, get him. No, no. If I was a split second faster, I would have saved my partner there. It's okay. Just open this up. I don't think any of them came down here. This whole bottom part of the ship is just covered in gold. Oh, yeah. he, here we go. He's coming down. No. No, he didn't come down. It's all right. It's going through the back. Oh, I hear the PAT. Buoys. All right. Wait for our partner to revive. I'm not gonna go in there by myself. And they've got a shark. Oh, no, that shark shield is definitely from. Uh, it's from the captain. We'll just keep opening. Oh, I see him. I see him. And, oh, oh, he's got guts. Came to check out the noise. 
He's too close for me to launch. I should have just darted away and then came back in. It's alright. Partner picked him up there while he was still outside. I died instantly. Another... No, no. This shark shield's going down. I'm just going to get rid of this one instantly. Or... That guy can have insane reactions with that bang stick. Nah. Nah, he was probably right inside the shark shield looking out the door. He saw me come in. It's okay. Oh, they're all nice and grouped up. Let's make one extra entrance. Alright, this guy goes in without me. It's okay. I should get one kill here, right outside. Is he gonna feast? No? Yeah, there's no point in getting sales. We got a huge lead. Let's just finish this game quickly. Oh, mines, mines, mines. That mine wasn't there. That was another easy kill. I mean, I still got the kill. Damage Steve. Not gonna complain. But I hope they aren't resorting to the place mines everywhere tactic. Especially in these tiny little rooms. It's gonna do more damage to them than it is to us. Should we have... Oh, he was trying to place the mine. He did place the mine. Sorry. Got that kill. Looks like the mine damaged the guy behind it too. We should be able to get in here and get at least one. No, I hear the mines. I tried to get in there before the great white got in there because I heard that mine being placed, but it just killed all. It killed the divers too. It probably damaged the. If there was anything in there, those mines just cleared them completely. Picked up vitalized frenzy, so I should be able to just go in a nice like havoc here. Or could be another mine. It's all right. Damage Steve. Although they, you know that's just points. We don't. I mean they're they're not escaping. We don't need to keep hitting Steve to slow it down. All right. These guys are all dead. One, two, three, and where's this last guy? Oh, oh no! Shark shield. Shark shield. Can't see the flashlight. Get out. Get out. Get out. That's one thing I don't like about the tail ash is it turns off the flashlight, so if they're in the shark shield, I can't see where they are. If this flashlight was still on, I would have had that quad. There's only two of them left, and we're sitting out here sweating this shield. Let's just get inside. Finish this guy up. I'll get this guy. Partner should have the other one. Yeah, this game. I almost don't want to use this game, but it is a perfect example of how much damage a Thresher can do with the correct partner. Uh, Thresher is one of the sharks alongside, I'd say, the Mako that you're just not going to have a lot of fun playing if your partner isn't on par with you, if you guys aren't on the same level. Luckily, uh, I had a good teammate for this game. Definitely any tank shark is going to pair very well with the Thresher because you're just going to get in there. You're going to damage them all. Even if you don't get the kills, your partner, especially early game when they just have pistols, he's going to clean them all up. You're going to deny them any advancement and they're just not going to be able to come back. Uh, once you get rid of their gold supply, you demoralize them and it's just game over at that point. Obviously, you can still use the Thresher with the Speed Shark. Each has their own playstyle, but my recommendation, find yourself a really good tank and have some fun.